Happy New Year, Virgos! Happy New Year! Hi, Virgos! Welcome to Send the Moon Goddess channel. And Happy New Year! We're here today to do a reading for December the 27th and through January the 2nd. Okay, this is for Virgos. And Virgos. I'm still trying to get to that thousand subscriber mark. So if you haven't subscribed, can you please hit that button to the right and subscribe to Sin the Moon Goddess channel? Gotcha. Okay. We need two more spirit. Just two more. We do a 10 card. Celtics cross here. Sometimes spirit gives us a little more like now. <laughs> Like a whole lot more. <laughs> and we take them. Okay. This one here. Okay. All right. I think we got everything squared away. And everybody has been getting the emperor today. So I think we need, we all need a little confidence in our life. Okay. A little confidence. Yes. Like the emperor. Let's go. Let's get it, Virgos. Let's see what's going on. Where we are right now, there's change. A big change. Yeah, let's see if I can change this camera. That's better. Yeah, it's a big change going on, Virgos. So I don't know if you feel it. The majority of you feel it. It could be a spiritual change. A change in... I'm, I'm, I'm hearing movement. Uh, so moving. Um, you know, it's a big change. Okay, our challenges right now, it's work. The Eight of Pentacles. Some of us are getting rewards from work. Some of us is getting new jobs. Some of us are getting um, promotions. Okay, but things are really working out, I'm hearing. <laughs> All right. All right, our focus. Our focus is oh, what we manifest. Okay, the magician. All right. Okay, our recent past. The Seven of Wands, they told us to hold our stance, and we did exactly that. Okay, our um, strengths, mm, the Seven of Swords. We know how to strategize. Who you talking? Who you telling? <laughs> All right, our future. Yes, the Ten of Pentacles, what you say? My one of my favorite cards because it's Virgo number one. And number two is happy family and money. Okay? Because you know I'm a Virgo too. So, yeah. All right. Our approach to the week. Ah, the five of wands. We having a little scuffle here and there. But I'm hearing it's going to be okay. And it's just very minor. Okay? And our advice for the week is do not overthink it. Okay, because it is what it is, and it's five five, so that means change. See, we're going through this change, so don't overthink anything. See that castle back there? That's what belongs to you, Virgos. You okay? All right, our hopes and fears. Oh, something is rushing in, some kind of communication is coming our way, Virgos. Oh, jeez. Mm. Wow. I'm sorry, Virgos. But first, we got to pray and meditate because this is kind of deep. Because some of us are ending a relationship. So a new one can come. The one that we wish for. Okay? The love that we wish for is on its way to give us stability. All right? So, some of you are going to end a relationship to, to begin a new relationship. All right? So, let's clarify some of this madness we got going on here, Virgos. We first going to see what this work is about. What is this work about? Uh, by the way, uh, the signs that we have here, we have a lot of Virgo here. Because we have the 10, we have the 8, and... Uh, I thought we had the nine, but 
we have the 10 and the 8 here. So we have Virgos who could be Virgo, Virgo love, but we have a lot of fire. So it's going to be um, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. We also have Capricorn is here. Yes. And we have water, a little water here. Yes. But we have, you could say almost all the water and all, all, we're going to say Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Okay? All right. <clears throat> oh, some of us going to... Are, are going to meet someone that we love at work. Some of us are going to do what we love at work. Okay? So it's, it's kind of like two things going on here. All right? What are we manifesting? Yeah. Some of us is manifesting travel. And some of us want cl um, clarification. Just clarification when it comes to love. That's what I'm hearing. Anything else for that? Okay. Yeah, some of us are going to have uh, uh, new opportunities when it comes to work. And like I said before, some of us is going to have to leave uh, love. And we are going to get what we deserve out of love. But some of us is just going to get new love. And like I said, some of us are going to break up. But the breakup is not going to be too drastic. That, you know, two, it's going to hurt. But as you can see, it's not all three swords. There's only two. Okay. So it could be worse. All right. But there is going to be a big change. And, 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 and some of us have to go through that, uh, that hurtful feeling to go on to the next because of the change that we need to, we need to grow and we need to feel and we need to to strategize <laughs> seven of swords seven of swords i see two sevens that's spiritual growth also so yeah happiness is coming your way for sure yes see then the ten of, ten of pentacles come comes along ten of pentacles ten of pentacles of advice i'm sorry future future ten of pentacles I guess spirit said that's enough. The Ten of Pentacles. Huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah. They saying they're here to help you to go through the change. To get to this Ten of Pentacles. To get through all of this nonsense that you're going through, Virgos. Fighting within its, yourself. Because that's what's going on here. Okay. So um, the divine is here. So you can get to here. Okay. A lot of love. Um, opportunities. So they're going to help you go through this change. And you're going to kind of go through the change very quickly. And like I said, some of you are going through a spiritual growth. So that's going to happen too. Okay. But you definitely getting what you wish for. And it's coming through. Okay. And a lot of you did wish for love. Okay, the ten, the ten of cups. Yes. Yeah, love and nurturing. That's what you wanted, and now that's what you're getting. But you know you have to pray. You have to pray and meditate, and then manifest, and then you get all of this. But we're gonna find out with this ten, ten of swords, please. What is this ten of swords about? Mm. The Ten of Swords is because you don't, you're going through this big change, okay? You're ending a chapter in your life. It looks like you're, you're letting someone go, like I said before when I first started. Okay, you're letting someone go from your past. It's, it, it, and some of you, you might not even be together, okay? But it's someone who doesn't. They, they, they're distant from you. So I'm feeling they distant from you because you guys are not together, but you still was holding on to hope and spirit saying to let it go. Okay. To let that go, have courage enough to let it go and to move on forward. Cause this change that you're going, you going through is a positive one. And you definitely going through a change. And you're going to have stability and love 
coming through. This is your soulmate. Okay? Soulmate. Yeah. You're not going to see this person coming towards you with all this love. And you are even going to wonder, are they really here to give me love? Virgos. I see Taurus. I see um, Scorpio. And I see Aquarius. And I said Scorpio, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the divine is coming. So you, some of you are going to have choices. So you're going to have to pick. If you don't, they'll choose for you. Okay? But they want you to let go of things that don't serve you. People that don't serve you. People who don't love you any longer. They send to let go because love is, is coming in. And when it comes to work, you're going to have choices. Okay? You're going to have choices. Because you're such a hard worker and they're going to see that you're such a hard worker that... You're going to have your choice on whatever you want to do. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and some of you are going to get, um, going to be asked to be married, get engaged, it's an offer, offer to be married. And some of you not going to want the offer, but the sex is good. And that's going to make you think twice. <laughs> And some of you need to work on your goals because your goal list is outdated, I'm hearing. You didn't do one for 2022? Okay, make sure you put what you're passionate about on your goal list. Okay? Because opportunities is coming your way and they want you to be ready and confident on what you're doing. Virgos. Also, someone is coming into your life and it might be someone older, older than you and a little, a little different from you. Like they have different rules or different, um, um, just they're different. They're different than you. Some of you going to meet someone new with a lot of passion and might not even live close to you. And they might even ask you to move towards them. I see movement, a lot of movement. I see travel, okay, Virgos. Yeah, it's a lot of movement. You got to take the leap of faith. Just trust your intuition. Listen to it, Virgos. Because you already know this love is coming your way. You worried about this love, but... Spirit is saying not to. Yeah, some of you is, is somebody from your past. But it's somebody you love to have sex with. <laughs> Virgos. It's somebody that you see that you can build a life with. How you, you guys balance each other. How you guys balance each other. You just love the way you bounce off of each other. I'm hearing. Yeah. Anything else for Virgos? Yep. It's love coming. Ooh. Is it love, baby? I'm saying it's love. They want you to just take the love that's coming towards you. Yeah. Like I said, some of you are going to have to let go of a person. Um, you, it might be three of you guys in the in equation and you want to take yourself out. So take yourself out. But it's some, a lot of you are going to get engaged, Virgos. But some of you are going to find out that your person have, have someone else in the equation. Again... They saying it's going to hurt, but it's not going to hurt long because they're going to bring you your wish. Okay. And that wish is your soulmate. It's coming towards you. It's going to be a new love for some of y'all. Some of you guys is going to be a new love. It could be an air sign, 
um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, I have it in their chart. But it's your soulmate that's coming toward you. And then some of some of you, some of you is is someone that that you know know before. Okay, coming from your past. And then a lot of you are taking it up a notch. You're in your relationship. And then some of you are just pregnant. By your soulmate. I'm not saying by yourself. Just, you know, some of you. It's, it's different levels because I'm hearing some of you are, are getting engaged. Some of you are just starting to date, but you're starting to see the person in another light, like it's just bloomy. And then some of you that are, are, are moving in together. So um, in other words, Virgo love is just happening for you. Okay. All the way around, love is just happening. Yeah. Like I said. Some of you is going to be old love. Some of you are just going to go back and, and um, be in love with your work, what you do every day. But some of you, you're going to end a relationship and start a new. And it's going to be perfectly fine. And some of you have choices. They saying the same thing. Huh? Yeah, they don't want you worrying about, about the love that's coming in. They saying that this new love, some of you who's, who's going to have new love, don't worry about it. Just go with the flow, they saying. They saying the cup, yeah. Because you're covered, remember? You're covered by the divine. So you, you're not going to see this coming in. It's coming in fast. It's com you're not going to see it coming. It's coming in fast, and the divine got you. Okay? They're going to help guide you. Yep. Virgos, it's a new day for you. It's a new day. Okay. Some of you are going to have choices when it comes to work. Like I said, you're going to have so many choices. Because everybody going to figure it out how, how you are such a hard worker. And then everybody's going to want you. See? Work is going to really work out for you. The divine is making sure you, you're you happy. So if you manifesting, nurturing, and manifesting babies, I'm hearing that's going to happen. And then you're, gonna, you're manifesting love and how to balance your life. And, and that's happening. Okay? Yeah, because you're, you're learning how to let go of things that don't serve you. You've been working on your goals. And now your person of passion and love is coming towards you. And you're very independent being who you are. Okay? Wow. Anything else for Virgo spirit? Anything else? Yeah, Virgo, someone is spying on you because they have a lot of love. And they want to be with you and they want to make sure they're the ones with you. Okay, so they want victory with you because they have a lot of passion for you. They want to they want to make a future with you. So you need to pray and meditate so you can take the right leap of faith. Because this could be a lifetime love. Okay. You're a soulmate. Lifetime love. And I'm hearing you might different. You might different. Even in age. You might different in cultures. Okay? But it's love. All right, Virgos. That's what I have for you. Now, you know I can't let you go without asking you to like and share this video. And if you haven't already, hit that button over there to the right and subscribe to Sin the Moon Goddess channel. I am Sin the Moon Goddess. And Happy New Year, Virgos!